Well, I've just had a <laughs> mad rush of blood to my head or something. I've decided to see if I can uh, rewind this transformer. Anyway, it's got to come off. It's no good. Um, so that's the plan. So, <laughs> chances are you won't be seeing this because I'm not too confident it's going to work. Um, I'm not going to show you my failures, am I? <laughs> so I'm speaking to myself. <laughs> oh, nothing new there. Anyway, I'll, uh, I've set the old camera running just in case. Well, here I've taken the transformer out. Taken out the valve, took off the wires and the clamps. I did well regret this. Um, I think if I can get a couple of laminations out, with a pair of pliers, you usually mangle them up, but I can afford to lose a couple, and then I can just work on the bobbin and see what we can do. I don't know, this is unknown ground for me. I have wound things in me in the past, but that was 40 years ago. <laughs> we'll have a go. Well, oh, much swearing and cursing. I've mangled up three or four laminations, but I've now got them loose. So I can uh, now strip, strip the bobbin. Whether I'm going to get all these back in again <laughs> is another is another story. But um, I can afford to lose just a few. They're very badly uh, rusted, so. Uh, I'm not quite sure what we're going to do there. Anyway, it's coming apart now, as you can see. Uh, come on, you little devil. Some are just sticking. There we go. Oh, we're getting there now. It's once you've got the first few out, of course, they come easily. I think we can afford to lose a few. Anyway, I'll carry on doing this. And we'll see what we shall see. <laughs> I'm regretting this already, guys. Well, if nothing else, I'll lift some copper for me. Scrap heap, won't I? Right, I'll carry on. Ah, <laughs> whoa. Can you believe all oh, this lot is going to go back in there, hopefully? Um, I can see a winding there. Gosh, that's pretty fine. I'm guessing at the moment that... that oh, I've cracked that. Pretty there. I've, I believe that um, the highest winding is in the centre. Most strange. Anyway, we'll... Uh, We'll see how we get on. I'm not uh, not too confident, as I said earlier. But um, nothing ventured, nothing gained. I'm having second thoughts whether to use a microwave transformer and a separate heater transformer. Anyway, we'll see. Well, that's the heater winding. That's was on the outside. That's that's a piece of cake. And there's our laminations. <laughs> but that ooh, that's pretty daunting. Um, I might have to make up a something to wind this off on. Otherwise, I'm going to get in a terrible mess. Anyway, I'll have some copper, won't I? Well, what I've done here, I've cut a piece of wood to fit the inside of the bobbin and put a nut and bolt to a plank, which I've clamped to the bench. And I've got my uh, mackerel girdy wheel here, just temporarily to wind the, the copper on. So, if I go this way, yeah, that will work. Ah, will it? Ah. Yes, I think so. Let's try it. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, take your time, this will do it. 
bit of some insulation there. There we go. Mind you, if the enamel is uh, all burned off, um, I'm wasting my time. But we won't know till I get further in. Right, just a question now of winding away. This way it won't get kinked and I can reuse it. Well, that's the theory anyway. Hey, mister, your gurdy is broken. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Well, barrel organ, how about that? How many turns do you reckon I've got to go? Hundreds. Ha, ha, ha. But uh, I think this is the safest way of doing it. And, uh, well, we'll see what we can see. I might adopt a similar system to wind it back on again. But, uh, I don't know yet. Anyway, I'll continue to do this. And, um... Switch the camera off and we'll come back when I'm nearly empty. Yeah, this is successful. Can't be bad. Well, I'm afraid not good news. The primary winding, which was in the middle, strange, but it was. Um, the HT winding, as you can see, which is in the centre of the core, I'm not going to bother with, it's bad news. If I get close, you can see dark patches all within the, the winding, where, it's, where the enamel is broken down, so we're effectively going shorter turns. So, a bit sad for all the effort I've put into it but I've got some copper on the on the reel and um, well we'll go with the microwave oven transformer I'll uh, I will win incidentally how much is a new uh, ultrasonic cleaner guys <laughs> I will not be beaten I will not be beaten but that's a shame more shortly well, I've wasted a morning trying to rewind the other one. I'm now going to waste an afternoon. <laughs> anyway, I've got several microwave transformers. Uh, this is typical. Um, they're a bit potent for what I want. They give at least 2K out. I don't need that. And I've had a thought about whether I could use this small winding to drive the heaters of the valve. Well, I put a meter on. Uh, that's without load, and it come up about four volts or so. So I had a brainwave, folks. I I punched out the little uh, laminations, the straight ones, those between here and here. Um, this means that the transformer coupling between the primary and the secondary will be far less efficient, which will drop the output, which I'm happy to you know at least drop to a thousand, thousand and a half volts. But it means it gives me space in here to wrap round a few more turns and see if I can get 6.3 to the valve heaters. Hello, I'm being buzzed by an aeroplane. Oh, he was enjoying himself, wasn't he? Ha <laughs> ha! Anyway, back to the uh, back to the plot here. So, uh, what I've done, I've wound a few turns of additional wire for the heaters, and rather than chance the valve, I tried a 12 volt festoon bulb. Far better to blow a few of those than to blow the heaters of your of your valve. Anyway, I find I found I had more than enough voltage, uh, so I had to take off a few turns. Anyway, I've temporarily now put the valve in and just connected this this winding I've wound to the heaters of the valve and uh, connected me AVO. It does light up a little bit bright and it's gone to about 7, 7, just over 7 volts. But I think I can get away with that. Um, well, I'm hoping so anyway. Um, it's not grossly overdriven and uh, the anode volts, of course, or the HT will be greatly reduced. Uh, that's down to about uh, 1400 volts or 1400-1500 volts now. So I really should have adopted this idea in the first place. 
Um, and it means I can get away with just the one transformer. So, uh, oh, well, you live and learn all the time. Anyway, we'll carry on. Well, here we are. Did I, uh, did I say, incidentally, that uh, I wouldn't be beaten? Ha <laughs> ha! Ta-da! Brilliant. Um, well, I've now got uh, ultrasonic cleaning. I've got uh, electrolysis cleaning. And currently working on a vibratory cleaning system. So I think I've done the cleaning bit <laughs> to its death. <laughs> anyway, I should have took this approach in the first place. But I uh, just got to box it up now. And we're on the home straight. Well, it's quite surprising how efficient this uh, this ultrasonic cleaner is. Um, you can pick this one up a bit, but if they go too high, it splashes a bit. But they're all in all very pleased. 